Hello and welcome to BA Publisher Basics and Beyond. So in this chapter is dedicated for Excel templates. So we this is the basic chapter. So you would learn more advanced features as we go to the next chapters. So this this chapter is basically to give you a basic idea about creating Excel templates. So before we start, as for always, the files used in this chapter are available for, for download as a zip file. So why Excel template? To, so there's as you know, pretty much all the reporting, well, except if there's, a, there's more demand for Excel-based report than Oracle Lab, in, in, in Oracle Labs. So in the, in the past, you have an RTF template, which is converted, you know, output is generated as Excel. There are certain limitations on that, but with Excel-based, it's more powerful, and it has a lot of features that, uh, you know, that we will discuss as we go along. This, this feature is available only from R12 onwards. <clears throat> let's, let's look at a sample. So you can see the template is pretty clean and you can control what kind of data goes in where. And here's the output of it. So before we go, um, the template viewer is, is, a, is an integral part that you can use, especially with the you know, Excel-based template. Of course, with the uh, you know, latest Excel, you know, uh, be a publisher add-on, you have the add-on to the Excel. Which is which makes it easier to build a template. Um, I still prefer the older way. Uh, one day I would learn it, and I can post a video over there. Um, but let's go ahead and see how the template viewer works. So in order for it to work, so just uh, template viewer. I'm just going to type in template viewer. Template viewer. S get the folder location where your your Excel XML file and Excel files are. You can select your choice. So if you, in case if you don't see the Excel, Excel templates, you got the wrong version of BA Publisher. You may have to download the latest version. So feel free to download it. You can set the log level. Then you, you know, I usually leave it as procedure. Select the output as Excel and start processing. So you can see the employee details coming there. So if you come back to the template viewer, you would see the, you know, you can see the messages and everything that's been populated. So Excel-based template viewer is a critical portion. So make sure you, once the template viewer is open, you select your uh, the folder where your template and the sample file is. You click the Excel output format and click format processing. So here are the steps to build a, build a template. Um, you know, instead of going through it one by one, let's go ahead and do it. So step one, we're going to open an Excel sheet and save it as um, you know, chapter 200 sample.xls. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm here, make sure you select it as XLS. So I'm gonna say X chapter 200, sample, not XLS, ah. XLS. Make sure you select the type as XLS, not, not the Excel. Excel XT or Excel, you know, latest version. So you select that. Now let's see. We next next step is to copy the uh, metadata. X, create, you have to create a sheet called XT metadata. This is very critical. Uh, X, you have to create a a sheet called XT metadata and copy the sample. Copy the sheet from the sample. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to copy the file. We rename it to XDO metadata. This is very critical. So the this is very critical. So make sure you create create this this page. Before we continue, let's look at the XML sample we're going to use. So the sample we have is pretty straightforward. It, it has a employee number. You know, it's a simple uh, you know a row a row set. Very simple. One root, actually one, you know, you know, a single parent root element. So let's go ahead and build, start building the table. So I'm going to go to the sheet one. Let's go into the employee details. Let's go ahead and create. Uh, you know, we can start from here. Let's go ahead and create uh, employee number. Employee name. Let's 
go ahead and add some color and uh, some borders. Let's go. Let's keep some pages in front. You know, let's keep some add some columns in front, just for um, adding the additional headers. So we're going to call. Let's call this as employee details. Let's go merge it. Merge and center. You can add uh, parameters here. You can add more columns if you want. Let's go ahead and add the sample data here. Employee number would be E, two, three, or one, two, three, four. Employee name is test name. Job is uh, super manager. Salary is dollar one hundred thousand. Department name is my PPT. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and complete the formatting. So at this point, we are ready to save this as a backup. So let's go ahead and go to the next. So our next step is to add the add the fields. So how do you add the fields? You're gonna add. You you have to select your element names, and you're gonna append the uh, the sheet. You know XDO XDO element name. So you're gonna prefix it with XDO element name. So for example, if an employee MP number, you're gonna say XDO EMP. So I'm going to do EMP number, E name, job, salary, and row. So let's go ahead and do that. So in order to do that, we are here. Let's go ahead and uh, go to formulas. So it, the easiest way to do is, is click on the define name. So I have the instead of work, we select the employee details. So we're going to say XDO, XDO. EMPNO, that's the uh, element name. Click OK. Let's go ahead and continue that. Uh, so, EMP name, so it's formulas, define name, XDO, e, question mark, E name. Make sure you select the appropriate, so it's an employee detail. You do that. Do that. So, you, if you notice that you would see this value appearing here. You can directly enter it here, but uh, it's, it's I prefer this way. Let's go ahead and do that. Or you can use the name manager. Click new. XDO. I think it's job. Let's look at the uh, XDO job. Cell. The workbook, select like employee details. You can do that. Close. XDO cell. I would prefer you can also type in here. After doing that, you may have to, I would prefer to edit it. And uh, because it, it automatically the scope would be set to work, you know, the, top, the workbook, which I don't like. So I would go ahead and delete that. So to delete that, you just come in and delete it. And uh, come back to add it. XDO e D name. And select the uh, details. Click OK. So um, that so, so let's go ahead let so let's go ahead and test this out. So uh, so we go to tools, actually go to file, refresh. So the same thing. Let's go. Uh, so since I saved it different levels, so we get just going to test this too. So you know you notice that the data is coming without any you know it's coming purely. The reason being we don't we didn't add the for loop. So let's go ahead and add the group uh, grouping. So let's go ahead and add the loop. So we, in order to add the group, so we'd use this keyword called XDO group, then the root element name. So in our case, our group that's repeating is row. So we would create a group called XDO row. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to formula manager. Let's define name. So I'm gonna say, actually I have to do this. I have to select. So in this case, I would prefer the name manager. So I go to name manager, create new. So I've selected that where the group needs to be. I'm going to say XDO group 
then row. Why do I pick row? Because row is the repeating uh, uh, group, group root element. So click OK. So let's go and close this. So let's go test this out. So let's go test this out. I'm going to the template viewer, go to file, refresh, click sample, because I've saved it in different incrementals, so which uh, we can use it later. So click on start processing. Ah, you get the data. So you can see that the uh, new data is coming out. Um, so, uh, so this would generate a simple basic template. Um, so now the only challenge is if we have the XDM metadata and a couple of details available. If you look at the output, it still has the XDM metadata. That's not what we expect. So let's go ahead and hide it from the template. Let's go to XDM metadata and hide. So let's go ahead and run it. File, refresh, three, start. Actually, I'll make it as a four so you would have it. Let's go up. So Looks perfect. Go back in here. Let's hide the metadata. Let's do some beautification. Let's let's add a header row, freeze top rows, add the colors that are needed. Let's go ahead and do that. So let's do some formatting. Let's go. I'm just going to make this bigger. Make it bold. Oh, let's change the color in a different scheme. Let's change. I'm going to set this in parameters. Filter by. I make it as a table and uh, I can add one more row in front and I can add a uh, multi uh, review let's see view insert actually I'm going to do simple things so I'm just going to add an additional so let's go ahead and add the uh, freeze planes actually I'm going to freeze the planes save it and uh, try it out if you see that error you can just remove the uh, check compatibility and uh, refresh and run so you know the, whatever changes that you made is reflected over so you can make it more uh, um, more pretty so the next question is how do you add it to the template? How do you add the template to the uh, BA Publisher? So you add it in the regular way, go to the templates, you make sure you select, oh, in this case, you don't see XML. So what do you do in this case? So um, so it's Excel is uh, it's only partially supported for 12.y. So it's, it's fully supported from 12.1.0. Uh, there are some notes. Um, I would attach these notes in a separate uh, document so this way it's helpful so the, basically this is the step that you have to do to enable the excel um, so at this point um, um, so uh, anyway i will be discussing this in detail in a, so there's an attached document that has a screenshot and um, you know if screenshots and everything to des describe how why how can you enable excel in the uh, in the screen so you would go to the uh, application administrator go to uh, application object library search for uh, xdo template you can enable this uh, this you, you shouldn't be adding it you should be enabling it should be enabling it um, if it's if it's if it's not there only for uh, 12 point, 12 point one point one. So this document is available for download. So feel free to download and uh, read through it if you don't see that uh, that template over there. So that concludes uh, the first chapter. So this chapter we didn't, uh, we were just trying to build a basic template. Um, so our goal was just to template, just to start on a basic Excel template. So as always, I have downloaded the template in uh, in different. Uh, I, I've saved the template at different stages, so you can you, know, you can start from you know. So you, you can basically use the stages to test it out. And um, here is your sample XML file for you to test it. Thank you. Um, so that concludes this chapter.
let's go you know we will see again in the next chapter where we will learn more advanced concepts thank you